your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 6. Only three hours were left for national lawmakers to draft a compromise to avoid a government shutdown. That shutdown would affect multiple departments from the Bureau of Land Management to the National Park Service. Good evening, I'm Rick Tillery. Thanks for joining us. Trish has the night off. The nation's government may soon be shut down if lawmakers in Washington cannot come to an agreement. Meanwhile, residents here in the Rogue Valley are bracing for the worst. In tonight's top story at 6, News 10's Aaron Nielsen spoke with residents who could be devastated by a shutdown. Millions will be affected by a government shutdown. White City resident and disabled Army veteran Colby Olson went through a government shutdown many years ago while in the military. When I was in the military, we had this same fiasco type of thing get thrown back and forth and back and forth, and what did we get? We got paid. We didn't have any delays. Olson is confident he will get his benefit check. He says it is just a matter of when. Olson says he knows the government will get their checks even if there is a shutdown. They're still going to get their paychecks, of course. The Senate, the Congress, everybody in the hierarchy, the federal government, they're going to get paid, while the rest of us that are on the lower end of the totem pole aren't going to get anything. Former Medford resident Caroline Hernandez recently moved from Medford to San Antonio. She hopes the government moves more quickly and can avoid a shutdown because she feels Obamacare will be a blessing. She says Republicans and Democrats both have instituted great programs over the years. There have been so many great government programs that have been instituted by Republicans. So this isn't Democrat, Republican. This is all about doing the best for the people. At one point, Caroline's insurance was tied to her employment. When that employment ended, so did the insurance. You know, she asked me, do you have insurance? And I said, no, I don't. I mean, I don't know. It's college educated, worked, and now I didn't have any way to take care of my health care needs. It sucks. <laughs> Hernandez and Olson have both gone through financial challenges. They hope the government can resolve their differences soon. Covering your news, Aaron Nilsson, News 10.